What is going on guys? My name is Duggar, always on board, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to write your name in After Effects um, using the stroke method. So this is what we're going to be doing right here, and I'm going to scrub through, and it says Doug, so that's what we're going to be doing. So let's start a, uh, a new composition or create one by clicking this button, and then I'm doing it by uh, selecting 1280 by 720 with 10 seconds of duration, 29.97 frame rate. The background is going to be color, but I'm going to be putting this image of the piece of paper. Um, and so I have this crumpled up piece of paper that I got from the internet somewhere. And so I'm just going to be dragging that on here. And if you guys want to find something like this, go ahead and do that. And so I can drag it around, but I want it to be full screen. So what I'm going to have to do is scale it up a little bit by clicking S on the keyboard. So now I scaled it up and then I'm going to position it to where it's nice. Let's see right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it by hitting this little box right here on this lock column. So now I can never move it. Okay. And so what you need to do now is just um, create some text. So I'm using Jennifer's handwriting from defont.com if you want to go find that and then use that. So right click, go to new and then go to text. And then I'm going to type in my name, which is Doug. And so from here, what you need to do is make sure you're highlighted or make sure the text is actually in there and then hit enter and then uh, highlight over your text and then go up to effect generate and then we're going to go to stroke and then in the options up here we're going to click on this tab that says all masks and then from there we're just going to have to use the pen tool in order to draw out Doug so I'm going to select the pen tool and make sure that you're on the layer that you're going to be <clears throat> animating so from here I'm just going to click up at the top then right here and I'm gonna just run through this real quick and if you get to this point where this tabs right here and you click well, actually that worked pretty good so I'll show you in a second so right there and then now I want to go to the next letter without it being connected so you just click on command and you click and then it makes it to where you can start all over from a different position or different area and so from here what I want to do is I want to turn it in and so when I do that it's probably not going to be right in the middle of the O so what you do from here is command Z to go back if you've messed up and this little um, handlebar at the very end over here, you just hold shift and you click on it and you can just drag it in. And then, uh, yeah, I messed up a little bit, but I'm just gonna go through here just to show you guys, um, command click, uh, what it looks like. So let's go through here. And while I'm doing this, if you guys want to leave feedback and tell me what other tutorials you would like to learn, because I wouldn't mind teaching you guys what the community wants to learn, let's see. Okay, shift, drag up, messed up again, but this is a tutorial. If you take your time, it'll look better. Okay, okay. And so from there, now I have D-O-U-G and it's all uh, with the pen tool. So, you know, take your time on what you're doing. If you have to pause it, go ahead and pause it. And then, so from here, we go over here to this paint style and we make it to where it says, well, first it's on, on original image we want to drop that, that down to reveal original image. And then so now there's nothing there. Um, and let's say we highlight over the timeline of, let's see, on this end tab, you can put N to, to zero. And then we can put a keyframe on it first and then move up a little bit and then put the N to 100. And so from there, let's see, it shows it, but I don't think you guys can see it just yet because we can change the brush size. So over here, the brush size is set to two. So we can just drag that up a little bit. Okay, I say we just do it like that and then click on this um, selection tool and then off or click off the, um, the composition so that you can actually see what it's doing. And so from here, I can just scrub through and it just draws out Doug. And if it doesn't look nice from here, uh, all you'd have to do is click on your text and then go through these markers by scrolling in, you can zoom. And then from here, I'm just gonna change this back to where it's on the original image so I can Oh, actually on transparent and then from here I can just change these uh, like movies around if they don't fit right and so that's just a little bit of a tip that you guys can use so we'll put that back on reveal original image and then we can change the brush size to even bigger than that so that it fills up the the pin selection so that's pretty much it now you just drag from here to here and if you want to make it to where the signature is slower so it's more realistic click on you on your keyboard and so the keyframes come up and so this is where it starts and this is where it ends so let's just move this out and see if you hit the spacebar it'll preview it and it'll go slowly 
So I didn't take too much time to make it to where the text actually looked really good, but if you take your time, just like with any other edit, it'll look good and it'll look the way you want it to. So my name is Doug, or always on board, and go ahead and check out the videos at the end of this tutorial and leave some feedback, and I will talk to you guys later.